Yo, what up? What's up, man? Oh. Oh. Watching the video. Yeah, by social media. Uh, watching uh, huh. Joey B versus the world. Y'all check him out. Dude funny as fuck. Give you a little reality check. You know what I mean? But, uh. I was just sitting there thinking, like, where where uh, social media has gone, bro. Like, nigga, we ain't really, like, social media changed a lot from when I grew up. Like, I'm 30, right? So when the social media first came out, we was already teenagers. We wasn't kids with the shit. Like, we was, like, in the blueprint stages, in the early stages of social media. No, I'm just I'm, I'm just I'm just discussing how social media has grew and how it changed, and I can finally feel like an older person. You know, the old older person be like, "We ain't had no phone, we ain't had no cell phone, we ain't had." I can actually sit up here and say we ain't had social media. Honestly, I'm talking about as a kid, like as a child, we didn't have social media. We didn't. We didn't have social media. We the, Facebook, not Facebook. The first social media that I remember was MySpace. I had that in, when did I have MySpace? Middle, about eighth grade, ninth grade, about middle school to high school. That was like my first social media page. But see, I was already 13, 14. See what I'm saying? And then it wasn't even pop. Yeah, it was popping. Like, it was popping. But see, it was simple. Like, social media was simple back then. It was real simple. You got a page with your picture and the music playing in the background. And you talk to some chicks on there. You might hook up. You might never. Most of the time, you never hook up with the motherfucker you talking to. The only reason I hooked up with some of because my cousin was older than me, and he could drive, and he he used to take he used to take me over to the motherfuckers' houses and shit. So I had an outlet. But most of the time, nigga, you ain't we ain't never see these these motherfuckers we was talking to. You know what I'm saying? You ain't hear about predators and shit. I'm pretty sure it were it was, but you ain't really hear about that shit like that. But after uh, MySpace, I had, uh, what I had after that? I remember Black Planet. You had, uh, hold on. You had Black Planet. You had Bebo. And you had Tag. I had all them pages. And it was the same shit. It was simple. It wasn't nothing crazy. You, know, you, you couldn't do no videos or nothing. It was just real simple. Then, on top of that, like, we ain't had the shit on our phones. If you had a cell phone, we ain't had the phones like now. You have to wait till you go home to get on the computer to look at your social media. You couldn't look at that shit on your phone, bro, all day. You have to wait till you go home to get on that motherfucker. Or well, if somebody had a laptop at school, which none of us had, but you have to wait till you go home. Like, it wasn't nothing like now where these motherfuckers can, can be on it all day. That's why I'm like, we had kind of like the best of both worlds. We knew how it feel not to have social media, and we knew how it feel to have it growing up. You know what I'm saying? So, like, now I actually feel sorry for the kids growing up now, man. Because now, it's I feel like it's detrimental, bro. Because... Kids don't know the amount of consumption they, you know, they get from it that they supposed to have. Like, social media as a whole is bittersweet. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't it ain't all the way bad. It's just how you use it. But kids, you can't expect kids to know how to use it. Feel what I'm saying? I, and I feel sorry for them. And I think it got like that, like, around 10 years ago when like world star came out 
That was when everybody wanted to fight on purpose. Everybody wanted attention on purpose. Like, we ain't had that shit when we was teenagers, bro. We ain't had that. We ain't had that shit. It wasn't that. You ain't had no reason to start a fight or a uh, uh, clout chase or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, social media really took off when we became adults. So we kind of dodged the bullet. We kind of dodged the bullet. The only thing we had to worry about growing up was catfish. Like a, a girl might put a picture up of Beyonce or some model. You know, we teenagers, 15, 16. Damn, that's her. Uh, well, we knew she wasn't Beyonce, but any other model or anything like that, you'd be like, damn, that's her, da 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 Other than that, we ain't one shit. Like, niggas wasn't talking shit on there. Niggas wasn't doing all that shit. Like, niggas wasn't on that shit. Man, it was real simple, bro. You had a chat room. Everybody was cool. There wasn't no bullshit. Like, now? Shit. <laughs> Man, there's so much shit you can get caught up in, bro. Oh. I feel sorry for these kids now, man, growing up in this era, bro. You got so many social media outlooks, dog, to be distracted on, and it's on your phone. Shit on your phone, like, everywhere you fucking go, like, if I have a kid, dog, they ain't getting no cell phone till they about 16, nigga. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Maybe 18. I'm for real, bro, like, it's like right there. You ain't got no reason to pay attention in school. You don't have no reason to pay attention in life. You don't have no reason to pay attention in reality. Nothing. All you got is your fucking phone. As a as a child, like we adults now. You know what I'm saying? We pretty much like we already well, we're not pretty much. We done with that phase. Like we done with you know, we using social media probably for like updates on shit, the news or what's going on. You might put your content out. You might put your merch out. We pretty much, you know what I'm saying? But the kids, man, I really feel sorry for them, bro. Like it's, it's like, and then do this. Look at all the, look at the 90s high school videos. They were so fucking happy, bruh. They were so happy. Look at the early 2000s. They were so happy, bruh. The 80s, the 70s. All the motherfuckers was happy. Like, genuinely happy, bro. And some of them didn't even have computers. They didn't even have technology. And they was happy as fuck. I know now you'd be like, damn, how the fuck did they last without cell phones and tablets and all that shit? was happy we was happy as kids even us we was we the last era that didn't have technology that we had i like well i had a cell phone it was a flip phone i had a flip phone nigga. there wasn't no social media on that you had a radio on there nigga, you can't tell me shit <laughs> i had a radio the generation before me, my brother era, he had a beeper. He had a beeper, bruh. And in a in in big old cell phone. A beeper and a big old cell phone. We had the flip phone. We was the last era to know what it was like without smartphones. We was the, I thank God for that. We was the last era. Smartphones came out when I was, when the smartphone came out. I was probably a junior in high school, I want to say. Like a junior, sophomore, junior. I was in high school when the smartphones came out. Smartphone came out in 07, right? Then the first iPhone and shit come out in 07. Or some shit like that. Wasn't that the first smartphone? Anyway, I was a teenager. We had flip phones and the fucking Blackberries and shit. We ain't had no motherfucking 
the shit now. Yeah, flip phones. So we had to go home to social media, or if we're at school, we log on at school on social media. It was kind of like a balance. It was a balance. You had no choice but to listen to the teacher unless she was hard-headed like I was. And then when you go home, social media. Now they got social media around the clock, and it's about 100 social media platforms. So, I mean... I look at what it's doing to adults, and I can imagine what it's doing to the kids, because our brains are fully developed, and this, and we, we acting crazy. I can imagine what the kids going through, bro. Yeah, it it was the best times was the MySpace days, man. They were the best times of social media. It started getting fucked up when WorldStar came out. It did. It was very simple back then, bro. It was simple. It was very simple. I mean, hey, man, I'm just saying, bro, like, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go from now, from here, from here on out. They going to fuck around and do an AI shit, an AI social media shit, a VR, an AI, where you can fucking... Get a 3D world where you could literally talk to people through Instagram. Talk to people through TikTok. I'm talking about like live, like person to person on VR. Real talk. Yeah, social media, man, you got to... Lower your consumption, man. Because I, like I said... I know how I feel not to have social media. Not a lot. Not a lot. I ain't talk about the niggas in their 40s and 50s where social media came out when they were 25. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, you know, till I was about 15. You know? So we was outside. These kids now don't even go outside. They don't go outside. I see, I, sometimes, sometimes I see kids outside. But then most of the time, they don't even be outside. We was outside. Then we'd go inside, get on social media. Well, MySpace and all that Black Planet and shit. We was outside. And then now, they don't even play ball outside in the park. They play ball at an AAU and a pretty gym and shit, which is fine as long as they do something. But we play ball outside, black top, the park, everywhere. We just we was we was outside. So social media, man, like I said, bro, it's it's bittersweet, bro. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it a hundred percent bad. Because it's not it's really not a hundred percent bad. I just say it's about 75% bad. Not 100%. Because I learned a lot on social media. So I say about 75% bad, negative. So. Yeah. Then. <laughs> then you got porn on the go. You remember when you were young, nigga? You had to sneak and do that shit. You had to, you had to, <laughs> you had to watch it on the on Showtime at night and shit. And you ain't have it on your phone. You had to wake to two in the morning. You had to wait to B T un, uncut to come on to, to see a little bit of porn. You got your magazines and shit. You had to go sneak it to your your your, your cousin draw to get the porn out and watch it when they gone it it, it it was it it made it more fun to do it now <laughs> shit this shit at the touch of a button nigga it ain't it ain't it ain't even exciting no more 
the, the to, to masturbate or, or to watch porn in general. Then we used to fucking have to sneak and do that shit. Hell yeah. That shit was like an adventure for a nigga. I'm like, okay, let me see how I can do this. I used to calculate shit in my head to see how I can watch some porn, bro. Real talk. That shit was like a fucking adventure, nigga. Okay, they leave out at three. And then they come back usually around like seven twenty five. So I got so I got time. And then my cousin, he used to go outside then. Okay, so I'm gonna go up there and then like a whole fucking adventure. Have a blueprint in my head, bro. Like a whole fucking blueprint. Hell yeah, bro. Now that shit like right there. Right there, nigga. At the touch of a button. <laughs> it's just different, bruh. It's just different. It's just different. It really is. But, yeah. It just, it just depends on how you use it, when you use it, and what you use it for. You know, that's a part of being an adult. Part of being a human. You know you don't need to be watching all that fighting and shit all the time and all people fighting and cussing each other out. Like, you know you don't need to see all that shit, man. So, then capping at an all-time high. Capping at an all-time high. You couldn't cap back then because nobody would have known you was capping. You only could put up your picture. <laughs> That's it. Photoshop wasn't even around. Burley was around back then. So whatever, if that was you, that was you. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't no capping. You couldn't cap. Now, you can do anything you want, my nigga. You literally can do anything you want. They can take shit out the background and put shit there. They could, and this shit will look real. They could do the reface. They could do the the, the CGI. The, you could do anything you want now, bro. Capping at an all time high, man. You could do anything you want, bro. I'm serious. I'm serious. When that shit first came out, that was it. You was you, and that was it. Wasn't no spicing it up, nigga. That was that. Hell yeah. So. Uh, how is he the loudest nigga on the caller thing? Uh, that's all I gotta say about social media, man. Just. Be careful on social media. That's all, man. Hey, be careful, like, be careful what you consume on that. You know, I got work to do myself. Just be just careful what you look at all the time. And don't get caught up in shit because of social media. Yeah, don't get caught up in shit. Like I, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with having fun on TikTok or Instagram, YouTube. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Ain't no wrong with having fun, man. Ain't no wrong with feeling good. Ain't no wrong with that shit. But just remember what's important, um, what's reality. Don't let it take over you. That's all. Just don't let social media take over you. Learn how to have a balance. That's all. So, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all, deuces.